the actions is try to bring in interest as lower in the last six months or nine months, if I can say so. And I think that is a process that, in my view, has not been fast enough. Now, what a, a cap does is a cap, the capping of interest rate doesn't necessarily address the real issue, underlying issues. So the interest rate is driven by three main aspects. One, you have your cost of deposits. This is one big aspect that banks, you know, banks fund themselves, right? And today, the cost of deposits is much driven largely by the treasury bill, you know, short term, medium term, and long term. And then number two, banks then deal with the non-performing loans. A percentage of loans you issue will actually become bad. That's the reality. So banks price that in the price of, of, of a loan. And then lastly, banks price the margin of what they have, which might meet their operating costs and returns to their shareholders. So there are three specific buckets. And if you address interest rates, you have to address each of those to bring them down. And, and this is the message that uh, the industry has been pushing for. I mean, KCB, we, our rates are not the highest in the market. Uh, we're very clear about our we're very determined. So we the bank, and then so I said two things have happened. So effective the twi when the central bank MPC met and announced a new KBRR rate, we have adjusted our rates effective from first of August, and our letters have gone to all our customers. Uh, and the whole industry has responded. I mean, I was uh, listening to a meeting from KBA yesterday. The banks have responded. So 100 percent almost reduction on the rates. The second aspect is to find where you are on your credit score as an individual to get a better uh, pricing from your bank. <coughs> when you walk into a bank, it's not a secret what the interest rate is. You know, what is the general interest rate around this bank? It's around the 16, 17, 18. Now, for a customer specifically, then based on your credit score, you get a better interest rate. So we, we, are, we, are, we are not disagreeing that interest rates are high. We're just saying that the medicine that has been proposed, I mean, I, I say it in this way, that you don't kill a snake in the house, by putting the house on fire. Ultimately, you then lose the investment. In this case, the banking sector is the most dramatic in the sector for the economy. We are one of the largest payers in taxes for the revenue authority in this country. We pay an additional 150 billion shillings annually. So if the banks are not able to drive that. You know, we are a big employer in the economy. You know, we support various sectors to collaborate and raise funds. We support infrastructure projects, energy projects, and that's really where the issue is. And more importantly, the small and medium enterprises. And the reality of the matter is that we went to bring, to bring in a patient who was an ICU bank to work. And, and I think in our country, we're really trying to do the right thing here, what is the target? But the general market, except the customer of Chase Bank, the shareholder of Chase Bank, except and staff of Chase Bank. Yeah, so most of us, and I think we have a very positive support initiative to strengthen the banking sector. That's important. One option we have is to allow to fill and close. Maybe this is what you'd like to happen. But the reality is that Chase is able to run with customers, with staff, with deposits, by running. It's important that we provide some solutions, which is a very global solution. And it's not the first. It's, I mean, it's the first in Kenya. It's been done in the United Kingdom. It's been done uh, in South Africa. It's been done in other countries. It's been done in the the world. So I'm excited that we did it. Now, the concern that you're raising about lessons for us you know, mm -hmm. is maybe to engage slightly more with the stakeholders that we face. Uh, there's lessons around the governance, and our chairman mentioned around the governance of how banks really will oversee the response, particularly from the boards of directors for these institutions. There is now disclosure for the shareholding. You must have seen central banking system, the bank should be there, who owns more than 5%. Uh, KCB, we have been discussing this for a long time, only that no one actually noticed. You did notice until the central bank raised it. 